Hello everyone, welcome back to Bytes of CAC. In this lecture, we'll find a simple way to check if a relation is in BCNF or not. So first, we'll learn how to do that and next, we'll learn why does it work. So, let us consider a relation R which has attributes A, B, C and D. And there are two functional dependencies that hold on R uh, where A and C gives you B and D and C gives you A. So, the first step will be to compute the closure of each functional dependency. So in this case, we have to compute two closures <coughs> that is on AC and next on C. So let's do uh, the AC one first. So the closure of AC will give you A and C uh, in lieu of uh, the trivial functional dependency. And according to this condition, it will also give you B and D. Now let's compute the closure of C gives A. So, C will give you C and A and since A and C gives you B and D and you have A and C here, so you will also get B and D. Next, you have to check if you get back the entire relation from the closure of this, uh, of each functional dependency. So, this gives you A, B, C, D and this also gives you A, B, C, D. So you can safely conclude that this relation is in BCNF. Now let's add another uh, functional dependency which says AD gives B. Now your relation has three functional dependencies 1, 2 and 3. So we have checked for this, we have checked for this. Next in order to find out if ABCD is still in BCNF, we have to check the closure of this. So let's compute this closure. So AD, uh, the closure of AD will give you A, D, B and now you are supposed to get back C. But unfortunately in this functional dependency AC gives you BD, in this functional dependency C gives you A but there is no functional dependency which uh, says that that gives you back C. So naturally you won't get back C by computing this closure. So if you take all the three together the relation is not in BCNF. Let's uh, take another example. Now here we have a relation R with attributes A, B, C, D, E and you have two sets of functional dependencies, one on your left hand side and one on your right hand side. And based on your right hand side uh, functional dependence, uh, sorry, left hand side uh, functional dependencies, uh, you have to conclude if A, B, C, D, E is in B, C, N, F. So as we know, we have to compute the closure for all the uh, four and if all, I mean the closure of each functional dependency gives you back the entire relation, you can conclude that R is in BCNF. So let's start with BE gives you D. So if you compute the closure, we'll get B, E and D. But in order to get back A, you will need C and D in your relation which is uh, D is there but C is missing and of course you won't get C from any of the functional dependencies given here. So naturally you can safely conclude if any one of the uh, closure does not give you back the relation you can safely conclude that this relation is not in BCNF. So you can stop it right away here. So I just have computed the functional dependencies just to show you in case you uh, say that okay let's start with this one. So for that I have computed the closure of all the four dependencies but it is not needed. If you check any one you can conclude that this relation is not in BCNF. Now let's check the right hand side closures. So BCD gives E. So we can, uh, as we compute the closure, we will get B, C, D, E and here you see B, E gives you A. You have B and you have E, so naturally you will get back A. Now let's compute the closure of this, B, D, E giving C. So you will get B, D, E, C 
and again you have B and E here and B and E gives you A. So you get back A. Let us consider this one. B E gives you D. So you will get B E and D and B D E gives you C and you have B D E here. So naturally you will get C. Again B and E gives you A and you have B and E both. So therefore you also get back A. Similarly, if you compute the closure of this, you will get back the relation. So here all the four functional dependencies will, the closure of all the four functional dependencies will give you back the entire relation. So if you consider this set of functional dependencies on this relation R, you can say that yes, this is in BCNF, whereas if you consider this set of functional dependencies on the same relation R, you have to conclude that no, this is not in BCNF. Now let's check why does it work. So these are the two definitions on uh, third normal form and BCNF, which is taken from the, the book of Navate on uh, DBMS. So in case of third normal form, while it says that if either uh, A and B holds for a particular functional dependencies where X gives A, you can conclude that the relation is in third normal form. But in case of uh, a relation to be in BCNF, only this has to satisfy. That is x is a super key of r now this is the condition for one of the conditions for um, third normal form also so number one you can conclude that if a relation is in bcnf naturally a relation will be in 3nf also but since a relation can be in BC and uh, sorry in third normal form if a is a prime attribute of r so if a relation is in 3nf it might not be in BCNF. Now, what does a super key mean? A super key is a minimal set of attributes of a relation which uniquely identifies a tuple and when one of the attributes of this set is removed, that set no longer remains a super key. Let us consider a relation R uh, that contains attributes A, B and C and uh, a b is a super key of r and we have functional dependencies like a b gives you c and c gives you a these are the two functional dependencies that hold in a relation so uh, now uh, X is a super key of R, so AB is a super key as I have said before. So this is satisfied, so of course this is in a third normal form. And also if there, there is another functional dependencies which says that C gives A. So now A, well by prime attribute you mean that uh, it has to be a part of the super key. Now A is a part of AB that is a super key. So A is the prime attribute here. So if we consider both the uh, functional dependencies, C giving A, you can also conclude that yes, this relation is in third normal form. But if we consider this one, BCNF, this kind of functional dependency is not allowed in BCNF. Like x giving a where a is a prime attribute that is not allowed in bcnf so this relation is not in bcnf and also if you compute the closure of c it will just give you c and a and you will not get back b since b is not uh, sorry c is not a part of the super key so this is the reason why the closure function works in this case so that is all for today uh, I, if you have liked the video please share it with your friends and uh, give me a thumbs up and thank you for watching